Huh? There's a new bulletin board here. And it has pictures of fungi on it. But fungi are monsters! We can't let this go ahead. It's way too dangerous. Let's go check out the tournament. If it's as dangerous as it sounds, at least we'll be there to stop things from getting too out of control. Welcome, contestants, to the Nilutpala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament. I am Kautilya, a senior Amorta researcher and the organizer of today's tournament. I'm sure you're probably all very intrigued by the idea of fighting fungi and excited at the prospect of our amazing prizes. But at the same time, you may well have some concerns about the safety of this tournament. Worry not, the wisdom orb we've developed exclusively for this event makes use of Amorta's most advanced intellectual boost technology. It is absolutely reliable and safe. So please cast your reservations aside and enter the tournament with confidence. Also, it gives me great pleasure to announce that this event is sponsored by Mr. Elhingen, a renowned businessman from Fontaine who has generously provided a grand total of 60 million mora for our prize fund. And if anyone is able to prove themselves capable of carrying out Mr. Elhingen's philosophy by passing the ultimate trial, he will be willing to give them his entire fortune. The only other condition is that the winner must agree to carry on Mr. Elhingen's legacy by hosting the Nilutpala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament in the future. Whoa! Paimon can't believe that rich guy threw 60 million mora at this event! Just like that! And what was all that about inheriting his entire fortune if you promised to keep his beast taming tournament going? Also, Hosted by an academia scholar, huh? Oh, pretty official. I uh, might be a little inappropriate if we just barged in and tried to shut it down. So, um, why don't we enter the tournament and see if this wisdom orb thingy actually works? Ah, no, that's not it. It's just, uh, now that everything in Sumeru has finally settled down, don't you think it'd be a little unfair to Nahida if we keep picking trouble with the Academia? And he sounded really confident. Paimon's curious about how this mysterious fungi taming device works. Although they've caused this trouble in the past, the fungi aren't just aggressive monsters, right? They're more like wild animals with bad tempers. Since there's no longer any safety concerns, we don't need to worry. Maybe we can even try becoming friends with the fungi. Paimon thinks that would be fun. Besides, if we do well in the tournament, we'll be able to earn some extra mora. There are basically no drawbacks. Yep, that's the way we roll. Looks like we sign up over there. Come on, let's grab a wisdom orb and enter the tournament. Looks like the people ahead of us are still signing up. Let's wait our turn. Golden Comet and Silver Companion. So, you're competing too? Huh? You know us? But what's with those names? We've never heard them before. You're a tough duo of the posters, it'd be believed. Some mercenaries who managed to escape from you painted your portraits, warning others to avoid messing with you at all costs. Uh whether to be flattered or to try and explain that we aren't as scary as the rumors suggest. Unfortunately, the rules of this tournament state that beast tamers aren't allowed to use their weapons, or even fight each other directly. Your impeccable combat skills won't be any use to you here. The tournament is about capturing fungi, training them, and commanding them in combat. There's no way of knowing whether commanding fungi is a skill you'll be able to master in time. That's true. We've never captured a fungus before and wouldn't know anything about how to get them to fight. Wait a second! You don't look like a staff member! Wait. The name's Ania. I used to work for the Aramites, taming grumpy sumpter beasts. Ended up with a reputation for being a beast tamer, so they got me involved with testing the wisdom orb early on. Anyway, my name ain't worth remembering. I'm just an illiterate nobody. All I'm good for is doing odd jobs for Aramite mercs. Just think of me as another contestant. I do have a lot of experience taming beasts, though. Want me to teach you? 
You guys are worth me getting to know, as allies or opponents. Because either way, you can get rid of some obstacles for me in this competition. Of course, I prefer allies if possible. Well, that was blunt, but also quite honest. It's definitely better to have an expert teach us than figure everything out on our own, right? Uh, what do you think? Should we take her up on her offer? All right then. Take this wisdom orb and let's go catch some fungi at the designated area. She gets right to the point, doesn't she? This is where you'll capture your fungi. The fungi in this area are highly compatible with the Wisdom Orb, and they're ideal for training and competing with. The Wisdom Orb can capture and store fungi. It also serves as a controller. I recommend giving each fungus a code name to make commanding them easier. For example, this one next to me is Pyro 1, which means Pyrofungus number 1. You just go off their element and then number them? Hmm. Seems kind of boring to Pinemon. Uh, this fungus looks pretty lively. Why don't we call it Bouncy Happy Shroom? Uh, thanks, but uh, no thanks. I've got my own way of naming them, and I'm gonna stick with it. It's simple, straightforward. It helps me with managing them. Yeah, you're probably used to calling it Pyro One anyway. All right, we'll stop. But wait until you hear the great names we come up with for our fungi. You might want to reconsider then. You've now collected all four fungi. The next step is to use the floral jelly provided by the organizers to boost your fungi's abilities. That way, they'll be able to unleash powerful skills during combat. Paimon can't believe we're making progress so quickly! It's all thanks to your help, Hania! Hmm. Alright, let's all return to the arena now! Huh? Look! Someone's staggering along with a fungus running circles around her. Uh, is she being attacked? She's collapsed! Let's go see what's happening! Uh, I can't go on. Uh, too weak. Are you hurt? How bad is it? Pyro One, take it out! Wait, it's not an enemy. It's my shroom buddy. I'm just, just a little too tired to walk right now, but... I still need to find three more Shroom Buddies to qualify for the tournament. You mean, you're a contestant too? I wasn't counting on running into other contestants here. Maybe... This is the end of the road for me. Twirly Whirly on its own is no match for you. Look after Twirly Whirly for me. Take him with you to the top. Hey, don't give up. It's not like we're 
are a bunch of Aramites trying to steal your fungi, I, I uh, your shroom buddies. We're better than that. You should at least hang in there until we're in the arena so we can compete against each other properly. Hania over here is a professional beast tamer, and despite knowing that we might be her fiercest competitors, she still gave us lots of help and advice. Was that supposed to be a compliment? State your name and mission! Golden Comet and Silver Companion shall gladly come to your aid! R really Then, could you please help me collect the rest of the four shroom buddies I need? Huh. Does this mean my luck is finally starting to change? Um, uh, my name is Layla. I'm just a student in the Ritawa's Darshan, so I don't have any impressive titles or anything. And my goal is to, uh, uh, to make it into the quarterfinals. If I can make it to the quarterfinals, I'll get to take my shroom buddies home and delegate some of my physical labor to them. Uh, uh, of course, I'll take good care of them, too. Oh, yeah! Paimon read that in the rules somewhere. All quarterfinalists get to take home any fungi of their choice. But, what do you mean physical labor? You're a student. Shouldn't you be busy with coursework and writing papers? Uh, this is pretty embarrassing, but, uh, uh so I must have some sort of congenital sleep disorder or something. Because I can never seem to get enough sleep. And I'm always really low on energy. Even the smallest amount of exercise makes me... <sighs> well, you saw me just now. I get so tired, I collapse from exhaustion. So when I said physical labor, I just meant basic stuff like moving books around or fetching things I need from the store. Ah, uh, you don't need to be embarrassed about that. It's totally normal. Paimon delegates chores to her all the time. First she calls them buddies, then she talks about wanting to live with them. Ridiculous. She sounds just like El Hingen. Well, looks like you've mastered everything already and moved on to helping others. I'm delighted for you. I'll see you around. Good luck. Huh? Why is Ania leaving all of a sudden? We haven't thanked you or Pyro won yet, Ania! Let's at least go get something to eat together! What's wrong? That beast tamer... Is she... angry? Hmm... Probably not. She's pretty blunt and doesn't make a great first impression. But she's definitely not a bad person. Otherwise, why would she have helped us? Yeah, we'll see her again, and when we do, let's give her some gifts to show her our gratitude. In the meantime, let's follow her example by doing our best in the tournament, helping other contestants, and making sure Layla gets to compete. Uh, thank you so much. I'll try my best to contribute, too. I don't want to be a burden to you guys. Nicely done! Now that we've put together Layla's team, she should be eligible to take part! Let's head back to the arena and confirm with them! Let Paimon see how the qualifying rounds are looking. <gasps> Great! We're in a different group from Layla, so we won't have to compete against each other in the early stages of the competition! Actually, I hope I don't have to fight you guys in the later stages either. Oh? Hello there, little ones. Sure enough, you're at the center of the action once again. You two truly are like the main characters in your own light novel. Uh, Miko! What are you doing here? Is Paimon hallucinating? <laughs> this tournament was advertised far and wide, including all the way over in Inazuma. They even handed out flyers in front of Yai Publishing House. Don't you think a tournament like this makes a perfect candidate for light novel treatment? Yai Publishing House is working on a bestseller that, if all goes to plan, will stay a bestseller for the next 50 years. The theme is friendship and rivalry, so we decided to bring our up-and-coming author Soka here to gather some inspiration. I, of course, need to ensure my writer's manuscripts are up to par. 
So, I will be taking part in the tournament myself to get a little taste of what it's like. Here's my little partner in crime. Soka named it Blitzara. I think it's rather good. Very distinctive. Who knew there'd be such a big turnout? Even Miko's here! Soka, come say hi to the little ones. They're set to be some of the fiercest competition you face in the tournament. You should put them in your novel as major characters. Yes, Chief Editor! For the sake of my readership, I won't back down! I'll beat... beat you! Yeah! Just cause you're with Miku doesn't mean we'll go easy on you. Ooh, yes. More of that. Do you feel that, Soka? Declaring a challenge to your archenemy in the making before the competition begins is a key plot device that helps build dramatic tension. I, I wouldn't say I'm feeling that exactly. Just, just thinking about competing against Her Excellency's Hanamizaka tour confidant is making me so nervous. I'm losing my, my mind. Hmm. In that case, head back to the inn and capture your nervous breakdown in writing while it's still fresh. This will make excellent source material, too. She's terrifying, but she also seems really dedicated to her craft. I hope we can be friends. And who is this softly spoken little lady? She's our new friend, Layla! We met her while we were out capturing fungi. Layla's entering the tournament because she wants to take her trained fungi back home to live with her. Her goal is to make it to the quarterfinals. Training fungi? And then domesticating them? How fascinating. You must be full of secrets. There's an intriguing story to be told here, no doubt. I'm Yai Miko, a light novel editor. Purely out of personal interest, and right now what I'm most interested in is you. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Uh, I... I have no idea how to respond to that, Traveler, Paimon, I really appreciate all your help, but I want to get to know my four shroom buddies a little better and prepare for the qualifiers, so I'll go do some training now. Don't put yourself too hard, Layla! You'll end up collapsing from exhaustion again! Miko, what are you doing scaring a new friend off like that? Oh, am I really so terrifying? Well then, I'll simply have to talk to her again another time to clear things up. But that can wait. Judging from your expression, it seems like you have something you want to say to me, little one. I'm comforted to know that you didn't lose your heads amidst the hype, and you're not just in this to have some fun. Unfortunately, though, it appears that we're about to be interrupted. Gujiyahe! What an honor to finally meet you! We're so privileged that our tournament is your first destination in Sumeru. Huh? Isn't that the organizer? And that super rich businessman is here too! Goodness! I presume that the tournament is proceeding very smoothly indeed? Otherwise, how would the host and sponsor themselves have the time to spare to chat with contestants one-on-one? -on -one? How you jest, Gujiyai! Though such as your esteemed self deserve nothing short of the most lavish reception Sumeru has to offer. I see you've already had the chance to try out the Wisdom Orb. What are your thoughts on the future prospects of this technology? You know with your blessing it can be introduced into Inazuma, allowing you to swiftly resolve the situation of... Um... Ahem. Right now, I am nothing but an ordinary editor-in-chief. I'm here to enjoy my vacation and gather some inspiration along the way. And if I can at all help it, I'd rather not concern myself with such weighty topics as the future fate of nascent technologies. Don't be so pushy, Mr. Cautelia. Droning on about the Academia's business ambitions is hardly respectful to our honored guest, who has traveled all the way from the Land of Thunder to be here. Not to mention that Gucci Yae is busy catching up with her friends. I dare say it was both unnecessary and discourteous to interrupt their conversation like this. A most pertinent remonstration coming from you, Mr. Elhingen. You do conduct yourself in such an unobtrusive manner, much as you have in your entire career, quietly amassing an enormous fortune while remaining almost entirely unknown. 
Why, to hear such high praise from the great Gu Jiyai is more prestige than I could ever hope for. Please, should you require anything at all, do not hesitate to seek my assistance. Also, to have the renowned traveler here at the tournament is an unexpected delight. Nico, they're here to do business with you, right? Should you really be turning them away like this? Especially the rich guy? Paimon thinks working with him could have a lot of advantages for Yai Publishing House. Promoting an entirely new event throughout all of Tevat so rapidly would be an impossible feat for any ordinary businessman. I, for one, do not wish for Yai Publishing House to be the subordinate partner in a business relationship with him. Besides, the tournament has only just begun. Who knows whether it will go on to be a success. I want to focus on trying to enjoy myself, while keeping one eye open for potential liabilities. Fungi may look adorable, but they carry potent elemental energy inside their bodies. Letting one's guard down around these creatures would be an unwise move, don't you think? So it wasn't just us. Yeah, we started out with some safety concerns about this event. But the Wisdom Orb seems pretty amazing. At least all the fungi we used it on have been very well behaved. Like our bongo head here. Seems we don't need to be too nervous after all. Oh, Paimon, you're just as carefree and enthusiastic as ever. Well, it's about time for me to get into character. As a contestant, I need to go and get ready for the tournament. See you in the qualifiers. But Zara, say goodbye to our friends. Coming here was a great idea! Look at us! Making new friends, bumping into Miko! Oh, this competition is shaping up to be a whole lot of fun! Come on! Let's go get some floral jelly for Bongo Head's training! Like Hania suggests. Ah, the champions to be! Here at long last! Come on now, use the floral jelly and awaken your fungi's true potential! Champions to be? <laughs> Thanks for the compliment! Of course. I was standing right next to you when you collected your Wisdom Orb. I couldn't find a convenient opportunity to introduce myself, as Hania was busy explaining the tournament to you. With an expert mentor like Hania, I'm sure you'll become excellent beast tamers in no time. If even the staff are singing her praises, Hania must really know what she's doing! Boats are made for transferring commodities back.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Niluf Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament is about to begin. I genuinely hope that everyone has fun in the competition and wish you all the very best of luck. At the same time, I ask that you bear in mind that this tournament is held in the spirit of friendly and fair competition. By all means, give everything you've got, but respect your opponents at the same time. Don't lose your head. This is just a sport and a fight to the death. <laughs> I have spent a considerable amount of time in my life searching for a way for humans and dangerous creatures to coexist. The wisdom orbs you now hold in your hands show me that it is indeed possible. I sincerely hope that this event will show the potential of beast taming to a wider audience. People need a way to avoid conflict and stay safe in the wild. Oh, so that's why El Hingen is putting his whole fortune into this. What an inspiring goal. But Kaltilia, on the other hand... Uh... Thank you for your speech, Mr. El Hingen. I'd like to add a few words of my own, if I may. Welcome, Beast Tamers! The wisdom orbs in your hands are a truly groundbreaking invention, representing the culmination of centuries of technological innovation at the Academia. Actually, there are nine extraordinary technical breakthroughs that make them so exciting. Cautilia, everyone's eager to try them out for themselves. There's no need to delve into all the details right now. Uh, oh, uh, of course. Well, I'll explain everything to you all when I get the chance. I'm sure you'll get a sense of just how advanced this technology is when you start using it in the arena. Trust your wisdom orbs and have fun in the competition. What a total nerd! Doesn't he know there's a time and place to talk tech? Oh, good thing El Hingen has enough situational awareness for the both of them. Otherwise, this could have dragged on for a long time. Ooh, the qualifiers have officially started! It's time to face our first opponent! Ha! Huh, didn't know they put the bar for entry so low. Let's go! This is gonna be over so fast! Don't blink or you'll miss it! 
Don't be nervous, Bongo Head. It's only the qualifiers. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Just think of them as stepping stones. to develop close connections with your teammates. Nico and Layla! How's it going for you so far? Twirly Whirly and the other Shroom Buddies were way stronger than I thought. Before I knew it, they'd knocked the opposition out. When I got back to the arena, I saw Miss Yai's opponent running away like they'd just seen a ghost. Miss Yai said she needed to find you and discuss something, so I came with her. Little Layla here breezed through her first battle. Soka won hers by a hair's breadth, but mine was rather disappointing. My opponent was a frightful bore. Well, it's only just started after all. It'd be a bit of a crazy tournament if everyone in the qualifiers was a prize fighter. But anyway, what was it you wanted to discuss with us? You're getting smarter, aren't you, Paimon? I thought you'd need me to remind you, but no, you said it yourself. Our opponents will only get stronger as the tournament proceeds, so we mustn't let our guard down. Why don't we keep up the momentum from our respective first-round victories? Let's give our fungi some special training to strengthen our bonds with them. Great idea! Stay one step ahead of the game! All right, guess it's Shroom Buddy's special training o'clock! Let's get to it! <laughs> The view here is wonderful. It smells of the rainforest here, and we're far enough away that no one will bother us. Let's have some fun with our fungi friends, then take a break to sample some of Sumeru's delectable snacks. Yay! Snack time, snack time! Wait a second, are we here for training though? Or did you put something in the snacks that'll improve our bonds with our fungi? Even if I had that kind of power, I wouldn't dream of abusing it. I assure you, the dried fruits and pastries I brought are quite ordinary. Perhaps you thought I'd planned an intensive training session for you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. On the contrary, when you're constantly on edge, you miss quite a lot of important things. Since the goal here is to bond with our fungi, we should treat them as friends and create happy memories with them. Eating and having fun together are vital components of friendship training. Imagine if all the Traveler ever thought about was making you stronger, forcing you to build rock-hard muscles just to watch you send mitochondrials flying. Would you gladly comply? Why are you looking at Paimon like that? Oh, don't you dare try anything like that! Or Paimon will... Paimon will ignore you for three days! No, five days! See? You and she have a very strong bond, but that doesn't mean you'd be happy for her to inflict a rigorous physical training regimen on you. Do you really think the fungi would be any more receptive when they've only just met you? Huh. Well, when you put it like that... Miss Yai is right. Also, I'm curious to see what would happen if the wisdom orb is turned off or malfunctions. I wonder if the fungi will stay tamed or not. Yeah. It takes time for friends to get to know each other properly and come to trust each other. I can't always rely on this gizmo to communicate with Twirly Whirly. It makes me feel like I'm 
Giving orders? Ah, yes. True love cannot be controlled by external forces. Little Layla's belief is a classic one. But that would mean giving up control over the fungi. Uh, is that really a good idea? Go ahead and give it a try, Little Layla. Don't worry, the little ones and I will be here to keep you safe. Okay, is everyone ready? I'm... I'm gonna do it. Look at that! Now that it's turned off, Twirly Whirly's moving around on its own again. But it's not attacking people nearby like it did before! Perhaps the Wisdom Orb's technology doesn't allow people to control the fungi at all. Maybe it simply adjusts the fungi's temperaments, calming them down so that they're capable of forming connections with people. If this theory is correct, little Layla's wish may yet come true. Once you've gotten to know each other, you'll be able to freely communicate without using the Wisdom Orb. Miku's right! Forget fancy schmancy technology! The real breakthrough here is the power of friendship! I'll do my best. I want to learn all about Twirly Whirly's likes and dislikes, then buy lots of snacks from the almighty merchant. Hyma wants to get to know the real Bongo Head, too. Let's try deactivating our Wisdom Orb, shall we? Traveler, Paimon, Miss Yai, do you and your shrimp buddies want to join us? I think Twirly wants to play in the water over there. You'd better be careful. Don't get too close to Blitzara when you're knee-deep in the water, or you might find yourself on the receiving end of a very unique lower leg massage. <laughs> right, Paimon almost forgot. Should we let Bongo Head try something different? We could climb a tree together and see the view from the top. You two go ahead. We want Bongo Head to try something different since it's probably used to playing near water. Oh, okay. Meet you back here later then. Hope you... Bongo Head, we can do whatever you want to do. Just let us know. Paimon will probably understand you. Uh, why isn't it responding? Hmm, guess Paimon will have to try using delicious treats to win its affection. Help! Help me! Something's not right! Why are these fungi so aggressive? Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's calling for help! Hurry! Let's go check it out! What are you doing here? Hania? You saved the children? I happen to be nearby. The children were mimicking what they'd seen the contestants doing and ended up getting surrounded by wild fungi. Fortunately, I heard the commotion and got here in time to save them. That's so dangerous! Why are they trying to approach wild fungi without a wisdom orb? It's hardly their fault. I was almost drawn in by the fungi's cute appearance once, too. Luckily, I remembered my family's stern warnings and the suffering that previous generations once endured. So I kept my distance. People never used to be under any illusion about how dangerous the fungi can be. But this Neelit Paula cup is changing people's perceptions, and now they're letting their guard down against the fungi. A consequence that Elhingen failed to foresee. I'm putting an end to this debacle. First chance I get. The Wisdom Orb is the perfect tool for exterminating fungi on a large scale. And once I win the tournament, they'll be mine to do with as I please. What are you talking about, Hania? Exterminating fungi? Not in front of Pyro 1! Don't you care about its feelings? You're taking part in the tournament too, aren't you? You even taught us a few tips and tricks! You're clearly enjoying the event! I'm quite certain Pyro 1 would back me up if it was capable of realizing the past mistakes of its kind. But regrettably, it's just a pawn controlled by a gadget. It will never understand human sentiments. As for why I taught you guys a few things, don't you realize? I saw your potential, and I wanted you to help me reach my goals. Yet here you are now, pleading the fungi's case. You've gotten too deep in this absurd game. Looks like Golden Comet and Silver Companion don't deserve such a stellar reputation after all. Wait! Don't go! We turned off our Wisdom Orb just now, and we were playing with the fungi and everything! Ooh, 
Oh my, such a standout personality, and with the perfect dose of obstinacy. I sense dramatic events just waiting to unfold. Nico? Layla? Oh, you heard the cries for help too, huh? We were just talking about her as it happens. Little Layla told me that Hania gave you some guidance when you first entered the tournament. But after you met Layla, she very abruptly left. Looking at it now, she seems to be a classic case of a wrong path character. Blames the many for the mistakes of a few and seeks to wipe them all out of existence. She takes the wrong path because in her eyes, it is the most effective and sensible method of achieving her goal. Fungi can definitely be aggressive and damage their environment. But some research also suggests that they're only acting in accordance with their nature, just like any other wild animals. The fungi have existed for a long time. No one knows what the ecological implications for the rainforest would be if they all got killed off suddenly. Right! We shouldn't resort to extreme measures! No matter what Hania has been through, we can't let her do this just because she wants to! You intend to stop her achieving victory? I can't say I didn't expect that response from you, but I hear she's one of the favorites to win this tournament. Are you prepared to face such a formidable opponent? That's what you brought us here for, right? To get acquainted with our fungi friends so we can cooperate better with them? Wait, did you know all this was gonna happen? <laughs> it would be rather boring if I had arranged every last detail in advance. The chance encounter between you and Hania came as quite a pleasant surprise. Today's training ends here. The qualifiers should be over now. We should go and find out what to expect in the later stages. There are a lot of people over there. Are they looking for something? I heard that the organizer set up loads of message boards for the audience to leave comments and interact with each other. It sounds like a good way to encourage discussion about the tournament. I wonder if people will talk about me and Trilly Whirly. Oh, if only I could use this experience in one of my papers somehow. Paimon thinks that's a great idea! You always need a ton of information to write a paper, and you can't always get the info you need. But this time, you're the one providing yourself with the information! You can write whatever you want! That's a nice idea, Paimon. But I'm from the Ritawahis, Darshan. The kind of information I'm gathering now would only be of any use to someone in the Amorta Darshan. Yeah! You can provide the information to Amorta students! Maybe sell it to the highest bidder! Wait, no! Royalties! Charge royalties! Mora is a secondary consideration, but I could make it a fair trade by getting the Amorta students to read through some advanced papers for me and figure out what Trilly Whirly's kind likes. If I can narrow the search, it'll make my life a whole lot easier. I won't have to buy hundreds of different things and get Trilly Whirly to try them all. Just thinking about... Layla, that's an amazing idea! Please get them to look into what Bongo Head likes too! Oh, I'll do my best. When I get back, I'll write a letter and send it to the Immorta. Little one, the pairings for the remaining 32 are out. Huh? We'll be facing Sulka next! Oh, I've been looking forward to this a lot. What are you so excited about? Aren't you worried that we'll knock your budding author out of the competition? If that happens, Yai Publishing House's nice little journey in Sumeru will come to a very abrupt end. Oh, please. Do your worst. I never asked Soka to win in the first place. Besides, maybe suffering a humiliating defeat will give her the epiphany she so desperately needs. After all, a life with no obstacles tends to narrow the mind. People end up believing that only they are on the right path. Sometimes, obstacles are more valuable than smooth sailing. Excellent. Ah, I'm looking forward to the next round. I'll await your good news. Though it is where many things come to sin. We're up 
against Soka this time. We gotta give it our all and then some! Come on, let's head to the arena! Traveler, Paimon, this day has come earlier than I had expected. My apologies, but my writing career is at stake here, and my reputation in Lady Yai's eyes... I can't allow you to beat me. Don't get too cocky, Soka. We won't go easy on you. Shukaku have powers beyond the reach of mere mortals like me. Oh no! Did we go too far? Soka's taking this pretty hard. Miko said it was fine not to hook back, but she'll definitely be mad at us when she sees her in this state. Oh, Paimon's freaking out! Okay, we should just go apologize to Miko. Come on, Bongo Head, put on your best guilty face! Miko, we're sorry! We didn't know it would take Soka out so quickly! Oh? Did she look crestfallen? And say something melodramatic like, Beyond the reach of mere mortals? Then curl up on the ground and start wailing? Yes! To all of those, actually! Oh, you know it really well, huh? It's better this way. Soka will turn this experience into valuable writing material. She'll be able to portray the protagonist's journey with all the setbacks they face along the way much more compellingly. It will resonate all the more with readers. As for how to flesh out the villain, dominating, ruthless but brilliant, and ultimately victorious, the inspiration will have to come from you. So don't go getting yourselves knocked out of the competition by some second-rate wannabe, hmm? I needed within just a few hours. I've tried making a few different snacks for Twirly Whirly based on the information they gave me, but it didn't seem to like any of them. Hmm, maybe I used some of the wrong ingredients or something. So then I made a new, improved list, and also included ingredients that might suit Bongo Head's taste. Ah. <sighs> I didn't go to bed until way past midnight, <sighs> so I'm a little out of breath today. How'd you get the results so soon? That was super quick! How's it going, my little Layla? Have you been teaching your opponents a lesson? Yep. Thanks for taking us training, Miss Yai. Trilly Whirly is way more obedient now, and it reacts so quickly. I'm actually kind of envious, but the opponents have gotten stronger too, so the pressure is on. I gotta train with Trolly Whirly some more if I want to have a shot at getting into the quarterfinals. The problem is, I'm also planning to visit the Almighty Merchant at 7 in the morning tomorrow to buy all the ingredients I need. Oh, that's no problem. I'll join you with your training session, and we can leave the little ones to buy the ingredients. They're quite the experts in running errands. Oh, sounds like you two help out Miss Yai quite often, huh? Ah, uh, right! Yeah! Please don't turn us into scary evil bad guys! Don't worry, little Layla. They're just apologizing to me for defeating Soka. Go buy yourself a nice drink, take a break, and catch your breath. Thanks so much! Oh, you guys are the best! This is the address where I arranged to meet up with the Almighty Merchant. And here's the list of ingredients. Ah, oh, thanks again. Hey, it's our pleasure! 
here. You are our best look into Bongo Head's preferences, remember? Glad we can return the favor. As for the potential liabilities we didn't have time to discuss earlier, one good place to start might be the fungi power-up materials. Why, this is the most exciting subplot of the novel, The Secret Investigation. I'm sure you must be curious about where the magical powers of the Wisdom Orb and Floral Jelly really come from. Besides, if we fail to uncover what's really going on in this tournament, we simply leave Hania to her own devices. Who knows what chaos might ensue? Uh, this is suddenly sounding super complicated. Paimon isn't really following. I suggest that you act just before sunrise, while most people are tired and resting. You may find some important leads. Should we really take Miko's suggestion? Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's wait until early tomorrow morning and go check out the Fungi Power Up Place. Don't worry, Bongo Head. You're not under suspicion or anything. We just want to make sure everyone stays safe in this competition. It's time! Let's head towards the Fungi Power Up Place. It should be totally deserted. This all looks like regular floral jelly. It's right out in the open for everyone to see, and they've even put the recipe on the table. Hmm. Well... It's not like we can just take them away and go investigate them. That'd be stealing, right? We'd probably be disqualified and might even end up getting arrested by the core of Dirty. Oh, but we do have a camera. How about we take some pictures of the floral jelly and its recipe? At least then we'll have a record of all the important information. You hold yourselves to pretty high standards, coming here so early to power up your fungi. No wonder you've made it this far. Hania, we need to talk. Your plan you told us about last time, it's way too extreme. Save your breath. If you think I'm wrong, start by defeating me. Then you can show me why exactly you think your opinion is correct. <sighs> she won't listen to us at all. How did things end up like this? Paimon thought we were getting along pretty well at first. All right, fine. Come on, Bongo Head. There's no time to mope. Almighty Merchant. Oh, the looks on your faces tell me you're searching for the Almighty Merchant. Yes? Welcome, welcome. Yeah! How did you know? Wait, Dory? So you're the Almighty Merchant Layla mentioned? Why, so surprised. Every vendor and customer in the Grand Bazaar knows that Lord Sangama Bay possesses the widest and most magical range of goods. Almighty, supreme, omnipotent, these and many more are my exclusive epithets. Any other merchant thinking of using one can forget it. Unless they're prepared to pay millions of mora in licensing fees. Uh, guess Paimon should have known. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But back to business. I'm surprised that Layla sent you here on her behalf. I suppose she must be busy enjoying the Beast Tamer tournament, hmm? Sounds like you two get along pretty well. You know a lot about what's going on. 
<laughs> it has nothing to do with getting along. Leila previously bought a few things for me. They weren't the most valuable goods, but it was still a lot of mora for a student. So naturally, I now keep tabs on her activity, which is why I know that she's taking part in a very suspicious tournament. Mm-hmm. Something just didn't feel right. As it happens, I do have some goods I'm trying to get off my hands. They're a little hot for my liking, but so far no takers. They're also taking up space. So, I think I'll just give them to you. Um, this is just a bunch of spare parts and random notes. I'm told this is a device and some documents that the organizer attempted to destroy, but they were careless. Some people will scavenge through anything hoping for a chance to get rich. Sure enough, someone fished these out of the water and sent them to me. Now that Paimon takes a closer look, this looks similar to the recipe for floral jelly. And these parts look like they came from a wisdom orb. Maybe they were used during the experiment phase. Let's hold on to them for now and have Miku take a look later. Maybe she'll notice if there's anything fishy about them. Yeah, seems like our worries were well placed after all. But... Paimon still wants to hang out with Bongo Head. I don't know what you two are talking about, but it sounds like these items might prove useful to you. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount. 60 million mora. Thank you for your business. Huh? Why, you sneaky little... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no one gives a hoot about these items except for you and the Matra. We have other business to do today. Uh, consider this a little extra I'm throwing in to sweeten the deal. Show me Layla's list. I just need to know what she wants. Once I finish stocking up the goods, I'll send someone to deliver them to her so that you don't have to. That's a relief. I thought all our efforts were gonna go down the drain. We couldn't afford that price even if we won the top prize. Hmm. Flour mixed with Matsutake powder, a vintage jam, Zaytun peach juice? Is this really the fungi diet? How did Layla even find that out? I still feels kinda uneasy about all this, but we don't have much time. Let's continue with the competition. If Kotillion really is plotting something, we'll expose him in front of everyone during the ultimate trial. I can see you're serious about this. Good. Time to put my years of rigorous training to full use. Now, prepare to witness the power of my all-cryo fungi team. Snowflake with that! Impossible! My team has been defeated? Whew! That was a hard-won battle. You and your buddies put up a good fight, Bongo Head. Traveler, Paimon, I saw you guys made it to the next round. Congrats! today, and Twirly Whirly looks really happy. Guess you won your last round, too. It was a close call. I only won by a hair. Oh, I'm so glad I trained with Miss Yai beforehand. Also, the Almighty Merchant just sent someone to deliver the stuff I ordered. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go catch up on some rest with Twirly Whirly now. My stamina's running low. Let's keep the volume down. Speaking of Miss Yai, where did Miku go? Mm. She left in a hurry with Soka. I guess they must have had something urgent to do. Also, I think they were escorted by a mercenary from the Core of 30. When I returned to the arena, they were already quite a distance away. It didn't feel right to run after them and ask what they were up to. Could be. Miko's been putting a lot of time into the tournament lately, so Paimon wouldn't be 
surprised if she had a lot of chief editor work to catch up on. She also said that she wanted to look for inspiration while enjoying her vacation. The mercenary was probably just their tour guide. We shouldn't worry about it. The quarterfinals are coming up. To me, this is the most important round. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but let's all do our best. Yeah! Ah, we've all done really well to come this far in the tournament. Keep it up, Leila! Right! We have to stay vigilant. Okay, let's take some photos of the items we got from Dory to add to the ones we took this morning. We'll show them all to Miko when we see her next. <laughs>